let me take you to my journey through learning how to deal with my credit reports. In the beginning, I was very naive, like too many people. So I went to Google, I looked at credit, credit solution near me. So I got few uh, places where I can uh, call and try to get some help. Um, all these addresses are uh, Vivex Credit Solution, Fast Credit Solution, uh, Precision, Precision Credit Solution, Rive Credit Solution, you can find hundreds of them on Google. So I called one of them. The person answers the phone. I asked him about his background, if he was a lawyer, if he has an accounting background, financial background. I discovered that the guy has no idea whatsoever. The guy does not have any kind of education that you can trust. That is how did I reach that conclusion? I explained to him the kind of help I need with my, uh, I have problems with my credit uh, score. I never thought about that I'm going to use it for any reason. I never planned to buy a house, to buy a car, or get a loan. So I never thought about the, the credit score. On one of these uh, agencies that promise you to solve the problem with your credit, offer that I can either have a platinum uh, plan, a gold plan, a diamond plan. Uh, so what is the difference between the three plans? One of them start $40 a month. One of them start $50 a month. And one $60 a month. So I never thought that it would take a whole month. So I asked him how many months would that take? He said he doesn't know because you have to file a lot of uh, paperwork, you have to make too many phone calls, you have to respond to uh, correspondences. So I asked him, what is the average? To solve the problem with my credit score, from your experience, how long would it take? He did not give me an answer. So I, I joked with him, told him I thought you have experience, I can just pay you a lump sum and you solve the problem. Uh, in a week, no more than a week or two weeks, but not for months. Anyway, so all what you have here are just scams. All these are scams. Don't expect at all uh, somebody who is going to help you with your credit uh, problem is, going, is really going to offer any help. Here is a guy in uh, San Diego, uh, Los Angeles, on, on the west coast in Las Vegas. From the location you can tell, here is Reno, Nevada. All that is just a scam. So what did I do? I never thought about, so I gave up on that issue. of my credit score until I wanted to buy a car. The first car dealer said he cannot give me a loan because I have no credit. He said, what do you mean I have no credit? He said, you have zero credit. Well, I, I didn't know what is a zero credit or no credit or bad credit. Anyway. I walked to another dealer after a few days, maybe a few weeks, in the beginning of the corona pandemic. I asked the guy, he has an ad on the newspaper that credit or no credit, he will give you a loan. That 
person, that dealer was much better, smarter than the other one. He explained me, to me everything. He checked my uh, credit. He said, I have no data on my credit, which means I don't have bad credit, but I have no credit. So how can you help me? There is no problem. He is going to help me. The only issue is that I have to start at very high interest rate. So I bought a car, $19,000. He gave me a car, $19,000. Interest rate, how much? 19%. It's a lot of interest rate. On seven years. After seven years, you pay 38000 The price of the car is 19000 He explained it to me in details, in a scientific way. He said, well, first you get the car, then after a year, you refinance the car. Your score will drop from 20, say, to 10, say, to 3%, like everybody else. You just need to establish a credit score. Well, anyway, I was convinced absolutely that he was not scamming me. He wants to make money, of course, and I want the car. I listened to him very carefully. What is a good credit score? He explained to me under 600, uh, here is what you get. Under 700, here is what you get. If you have no credit score, here is what you get. He, he, he drew a chart for me. Because I have no credit whatsoever, I paid 20% interest. After a year, my credit score raised to somewhere 500 something. I got another offer to refinance at 12%. Then I discovered an easy way. When you start listening and learning, you discover an easy way. The easiest way was to use something like Credit Karma. This is an app. You download it free on your computer. There is no such thing as paying money to get your credit score. There is no such thing as going to somebody to help you with your credit score. You can see your credit score for free every day, any day, any time by downloading an app like Credit Karma. Let us see how it, how it works. Once you download the app, you install it, you open it, it asks you to sign in, you, you enter your name, your first name, your last name, your date of birth, your social security, uh, your address. Once it's app, the program recognizes you. Here is how it works. You press on Credit Karma. Uh, because I am signed in now, so I can enter right away. But you are going to, to, uh, to get yourself to sign in. And here is my credit score. How long did it take me to get the credit score? Took no time whatsoever, few minutes. Let us get the, to, to the credit score. It shows you the Equifax 668. It's safe fair. It's safe fair, and that is a date. And the TransUnion, it say needs some work. But look at here, there is minus 54 points. So you start learning. You educate yourself. Why did it drop 54 units? Because there was a dispute. Some kind of credit dispute. I'm going to show you how to get, to, to have all the details about your score, what problems you have, and how to fix them. So you scroll down.
And all these are nice suggestions to educate you how to uh, uh, how to do investment and what, all kind of stuff that is related to you. Let us just go back here. Here is a, uh, a summary, an update of my uh, financial situation. The first one is a car, an open balance. How much was that? $20,000 and something. Credit cards, zero. Collection, here is the problem. One six two dollar collection from uh, AT&T. That causes a, a huge problem. I'm going to show you how to fix it. A student loan, zero. Uh, other loans, zero. Uh, out loan, 20,000 something. The home loan is zero. So we are good in that. Here is view my account. If you wanted to view your account, press on it. It gave you everything that we, you just see. This is all the money I, uh, I owe in a loan, and that is the details of the account. And here you have the 162 problem, and we are going to figure out, here is the most important part. $162 was reported by a company called Credence Resource Management. Here, you don't have to get anybody to help you how to deal with that. All you have to do is to press here to get to see what it is. Say AT&T Mobility, $160. When I called them, how did I get this money? How do I owe money to at and AT&T is well known for scamming people. But I'm, I, I did not dispute it because it, it will take too much time to dispute. So what, how do you deal with it? Let us see. Here is a nice program here from Benny. Benny is a a software person or a chat when you ask him questions I, I will show you how to use that but let us first go to the company that reported uh, the, the collection company and we are going to find out here is uh, report information uh, it says uh, mobility that is the date it was reported. It is open claim. It is individual. It is for collection, and, and that is the company. Now we needed to to go to this company and call them. That is all you have to do. To call the the company and fix the problem on the phone. It will take you a few minutes to do that. Let me just go back again. It's a high impact. Let us fix it. The way you solve it, you call the company. Uh, Credence, Credence Resource Management. How do you call them? Let us go to the phone and figure out. Let us go to Google and figure out how to find them. Uh, credence right here Credence Resource Management we got it here is the Credence Resource Management and here is the phone number Here is the phone, and the, here is where they are, and that is, what do they do, what is the credence, the, what do they do? It's a collection company. It describes you right, right here. It's a collection company. Credence provides compliant business solutions for accounts, receivable management, and asset protection 
for health care, telecommunication and retail industry, verticals, headquarters, Dallas, Texas, credence offers right, right sure solution leverage. Uh, and you can, anyway, we are going to call the company. Here is the, here is the phone number. You click on it. It is calling. System, please press one now. Our offices are closed. Please call back during normal business hours between. Okay, I'm going to call them again. Thank you for calling. Credence Resource Management. If you'd like to make a payment using an automated system, please press one now. Here you go. You can be. You can be. Let us let us press one. Let us press one. So you can you can press one. It will take you to the automated system. Now we'll stop here. Here is here is the situation. Here is how you deal. You fix your problem without having to to go anywhere else. Let us now go back to Credit Karma. Uh, here it offers you everything, every f uh, financial opportunity from credit cards that according to your score. That is the score we are talking about right now. 585, it dropped to 54 because of that dispute, the, the dispute for the AT&T. The Equifax, it, it is different from the TransUnion. Let us now figure out how, how is the score Made. I'm going to press on the transunion. Perfect. This is where I want it to be. That is a transunion part. It dropped the 54 points. It say it needs some work. You'll see what what it change if you wanted to see the changes. If you do not you can go through the, here is the good part of it. First segment, it say payment history 100% high impact, which means it's green, which means I paid everything on time. No data, this is a problem here. No data, which means uh, that you have no credit card utilization. It is not a problem, but there is no history of using, because I don't use credit cards. Regulatory remarks. Here, this is a, let us go back again, derogatory remarks. This is what is causing the, the score to drop 54 points. We press, it, press on it, it say $162 debt collection for AT&T. Here is the tips, how to deal with it. How to deal with it, in short, as I told you, you call the company, you call the company and pay your money, and it will resolve the problem. How long would it take to resolve the problem? It will take three days for them to get the money, two weeks to, uh, to contact the, the credit bureau, and one month to remove the conflict. Let us go back again now to the 
to the next one, 11 month history, that is red. Red means it is a short history. If you have longer credit history, you can have better score. Uh, number of accounts is one, which means it is a low impact, doesn't affect you. Uh, hard inquiries, at six inquiries, low impact. That is low impact, that is low impact, that is low impact. That is high impact, if you have to wait until you have credit. That is high impact, we solved it. That is high impact, because I am not using credit cards. And that is high impact because I paid it. That's all you need to know. Did you have to go through any agency or scammers? No. You can solve all your problems with a credit score, with a collection, on your cell phone for free. And you have all the questions that you need an answer for or answered here.